just stand to the side. Okay. Hi guys, we are here in Flatbush and we are covering right now the vigil that's happening right behind us and uh, what you guys are seeing are the cops right across the street from us on the corner here which is 55th and Church. This is where a candlelit vigil has been held every single night and right now the candles are lit behind us. There has been uh, quite a little bit of uh, escalation with the police presence. And there are members of the community out here tonight, including lots of the youth, all um, out here to show their support and light candles for Kiki. And uh, in respect to the community's wishes and uh, respect to the youth, we are asked only to film the cops tonight. So you guys will have plenty of footage of the NYPD for this march. And we will be keeping you guys updated on what is going on. And uh, so stay tuned. So the police presence is high out here right now, um, as to be expected. They got about 10 across the street on the corner. I always do. I always get the car numbers and everything. I try to document all the numbers of the cars that's out here. Right on. So when it pops off, you already know. They say, oh, who was out here? They can't deny it. I already got all their numbers. I was over there crazy. Right on. If anybody has any problems with that film, just let them know. Nah, don't worry about it. Yeah. Believe me, they'll let you know. All right. You don't mind, no? Okay, I'll give them one. You can look at all the barricades that are out here right now. They line the block. Um, both sides of the street. We got detectives across the street by the Crown Vic. Oh, that's a new place. I see them. And just so you guys know from the feedback that we've been getting from the community and from others that have been asking the community whether or not Occupy is welcome in this community, what we have been hearing and what we have been told by others is that the community says it's about time. So please do not listen to the mainstream media, which is declaring us outside agitators. This is not the case. The community is happy to have us here. And there are a lot of people that are coming out from occupying, helping to educate the youth, helping them to know their rights. And they're really receptive. And they are brilliant, intelligent kids. And they get it. So we're going to help them get more empowered and feel a little bit more confident when they walk down the street that they know how to respond when a cop decided to come up to them and engage. So it's a really great thing. And I think that our presence here is positive. So uh, don't believe the hype, everybody. The community is happy to have support with what is going on and that this is an issue that extends beyond this community. This is really a global fight against blatant racism and brutality and the targeting of youth because of who they are, what they look like, whatever it is. The profiling has got to stop and calling it stop and frisk doesn't make it any different than what it is. It's profiling. So once again, do not listen to the mainstream media. Occupy presence here is welcome. They welcome all aspects of any community members, any activists who want to come out here and show support and help them fight back against what is happening all over in this city and all over this country. So, uh, just to let everyone know, again, my chat seems to be acting funny. Since we've been out in Brooklyn, um, the chat doesn't want to work out here. I don't know if you guys just aren't talking right now or if it's not working, but uh, follow us on Twitter. You could tweet at us if you have any questions, any information, or the audio video is going bad. It's at J-A-K underscore N-L-A-U-R-E-N. -E tweet at us. Keep it short. If you have any information we need to know or if you have any questions. Again, I just want to reiterate, uh, there are a lot of community members out here tonight. A lot of the youth is out here. We have been asked to only stream the cops and uh, keep our focus of the channel on them tonight. So that's what we're going to do. <coughs> um, they're out here in heavy presence and uh, definitely excessive, if you ask me. Um, there are a lot of community members out here on the corner right now on 55th and Church Avenue, though I'm really excited to see that.
Um, and again, let everyone know that's in the chat, that people that I cannot see the chat right now. The chat hasn't been working out here. I don't know why. Um, so tweet at me if you have anything to say. Um, just keep it short. It'll pop up on my screen and I can read it. Yes, Anani Moore, smash racism, God damn it. Detective right there in the truck is a asshole, if anybody's wondering. Got cops lining the block right now um, on Church Avenue, barricades everywhere. You see this? This lines the block for about 20 blocks down Church Avenue. Um, for those of you that are in the chat, um, keep others informed about what is going on as far as what we've been asked to do. Um, we've been asked to only film the police tonight because there are a lot of community members out Get here. So you can see the kids that are just here not doing anything but being themselves. Can I do that? Yeah, yeah. Is that a cool? Yeah, doing that. All right. Don't worry about it. I'll do anything. All right. Yeah. Sure All right. Then you can get back over All right. So um, this is who's here right now. Just the, all the youth are out here tonight. Um, they're just out here having a good time, um, solidarity with Kamani, they're all being themselves, and uh, the cops are out here in full force for that. Um, but again, others in the chat, just reiterate to everyone else what's going on, that we've been asked to film the police for the most part tonight, not the community members, because the community members are out here in high volume. Um, because a lot of the youth are out here tonight talking about 15, 16, 17 year old friends of Kamani's. Uh, right now we're on the corner of 55th and Church, and the police presence is high. I need a tripod. And uh, again, for all those in the chat, let everyone know that the chat hasn't been working out here in Flatbush, so uh, if you have anything to say, any questions, anything like that, just tweet at us. Um, it's at J-A-K underscore N-L-A-U-R-E-N on Twitter, and you can just tweet at us a short message if you have any questions, if the audio video is messing around or anything like that. I have your gloves too if you want. Uh, one, yeah, gloves would be nice with the tripod too. Thank you. I haven't even read the Village Boys article yet. And I swear to God, those communist party people are so convincing. They just they, they, they give you this letter and they're like, fuck the Village Boys. And I'm like, they're building. All right, for everyone coming in, we're live on the corner of 55th and Church Avenue tonight for the Kamani Gray uh, Brooklyn protest, uh, speak out, vigil, and possibly a march. I've been asked to, for the most part, keep the uh, focus of tonight on the cops um, and their brutality. Um, their community members are out here 
a uh, lot of youth out here tonight, 15, 16, 17 year olds, friends of Kamani's. This is really great to see uh, the youth stepping up and not putting up with the NYPD's blatant racism and uh, brutality. Yeah. Can you help me put put them on? That's what's great about having it. It's like a team. And it can kind of... Thank you. Oh, sorry. I was doing the other hand first. It's okay. Okay. You want the other hand? And can you put the, the circle piece on this hand? Thank you. That's much better. <laughs> <laughs> the police do not like being filmed. I can tell you that. Especially with a little tripod thing, they do not like it. I'm looking all official and shit right now. <laughs> Goodbye, piggies. So I don't know if y'all could tell, but there are police on every corner. They line all of uh, Church Avenue till about 30th Street, which is around where the 67th Precinct is. Uh, last night, Lauren and I participated in a community meeting, and um, we um, found out a lot of good information. A lot of discussion was going on about launching a legal campaign against the 67th Precinct. Um, And I think, I think that's a great idea. Um, so I guess a uh, legal team is being put together um, to show up to the next community meeting, uh, which I believe is in the next day or two here. I'm going to find out the exact time on that in a few. Um, and they are going to start organizing and gathering testimonies from youth about stop and frisk, uh, about um, the treatment of the, the youth and the community members here by the 67th Precinct. Um, there will be a, campaign, a legal campaign launched against the 67th Precinct. And uh, one of the demands that has been mentioned that is very possible and has been done in other places around the country is uh, community control of the police, which means the community does the hiring and the firing, which I think is great. And uh, the chat's working, by the way. I just got a hey guys from Brenbu. I don't know uh, how long ago that was. There may be some lag on the chat, but it is in fact working. They know us. <laughs> I noticed the cop cars really started to escalate when we showed up. <laughs> but I don't, I don't, I would rather the heat be I, I, if, if that's my goal, I'm not going to be able to do it. I don't give a fuck. They realize that they can't bully on these kids with us out here. No, absolutely not. That's that. <laughs> Feel uncomfortable yet? You guys are back already? These guys went around the corner like six times already. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Um, so I feel like tonight is going to be a lot of uh, reiterating of what's going on. Um, there's a lot of people coming in and out, so I just want to let everybody know we're here at the corner of 55th and Church Avenue um, in Brooklyn. And uh, actually, you know what? Let's let Lauren explain that to you guys. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead, honey? Hi there, guys. Well, yeah, we're at the corner of 55th and Church where the vigil, the candlelight vigil for Kiki has been set up. And uh, you guys can't see it, but I will describe it to you. There's a ton of candles out here. It's really beautiful. Um, the, uh, yeah. Maybe we can just do a quick pan. 
And I know you guys can't read the messages, so I'm just going to read some of them for you. One of the signs says, Sacrifice for police overtime, undercover punks. And there is a poster that shows Kamani Gray. There's also some beautiful art. A lighter? Yeah. No, it's all right. No problem. It's Somewhere. also a really beautiful drawing. Um, I'm going to hold on a block and then I'm Yeah, it's, it's cool. I'm Go Jack, ahead. by the way. <laughs> I'm Warren, by the way. Jack. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Enjoy. I was going to Alright, so. Now I have like, my guru on that. What? Yeah, I have to my guru on that. Oh, absolutely. Oh, we're putting hexes. All the hexes. <laughs> Fuck the cops. Thanks. Of course. So. So the youth being very, very um, fun and and um, receptive this, to us and receptive to us. So great. <laughs> and there's a car right behind us, which is um, uh, playing some really awesome music. Uh, very, very like up, upbeat kind of reggaeton feel. It's really, really nice. So just some of the messages. R.I.P. to you, bro. I'm a mission, Kiki. There's uh, a lot of different names. A lot of people have signed, hey little bro, just stopping by again. I miss you so much. Rest in peace. I'm holding it down. And just, we love you. We miss you. There is a really beautiful drawing, and I'd love to know who did it, which is a, it's a portrait of Kiki. And uh, there are names and messages all around it. And just really all of these kids coming out to show their love and how much they miss this boy. And the goal here is to not let any of these deaths be in vain. To not let any of the kids that have been murdered by police all over this country be in vain. We have to fight back, we have to organize, we have to educate our youth. They are our future and they are the only thing we have to fight back as they grow up in this oppressive system. So guys, I'm so glad that you're sticking with us. And thank you so much for tuning in. This is really important. The mainstream media has been ignoring this story only to report any way that they can, they can badmouth it, they can make it look like a, like a circus act, and it's just not that way. The community is coming together. The community is welcoming to all people who want to help fight back. And that's what it's about. It's about us breaking down our own walls, breaking down the things that divide us the way the police want us divided. That's what it's about. So we're out here today once again showing our love and in respect for anybody who's just tuning in, in respect to the community and to the youth, we will be focusing primarily on the cops tonight. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of footage of the police, which I'm sure will continue to, to escalate their numbers as the night goes on. So thank you guys. We will be giving you updates if anything is happening. So thank you so much for tuning in, and we're going we're gonna to keep you guys posted with anything that's popping off whenever it does. So if anybody wants to play Dox the Cops tonight, I'll be sure to, to shoot out a few badge numbers for you guys. I'm um, not saying that I encourage things like doxing the police, but hey, if I give badge numbers on the stream and somebody just happens to dox a couple cops, or, you know, 50 cops, you know, who am I to say they can't? I'm not the law. They're the law. <laughs> You see how he's talking with his hand over his mouth like a yeah. fucking asshole? <laughs> now nah, I was talking with them. I told them, listen, you know I can read your lips. I've been telling all the police that I can read lips. Good. So we got read uh, put lips readers out here. Watch here. Yeah. <laughs> he really was covering his fucking I'm, I'm going to start oh, talking like this to you. I'm going to start talking like this. That is so fucking <laughs> 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 So the cops are over there talking, covering their mouths, because uh, Jose's been telling them that he, he's a lip reader. I can't read lip shit. So I, I, guess, I guess they took it seriously. Oh, yeah, I can repeat what we're saying. The chat is working now, so I can repeat what I was saying. Um, 
So basically, a lot of the community is out here tonight, a lot of the youth is out here, and in respect to them, i um, been asked to just keep it primarily focused on the cops for the most part, um, and their brutality and their racist profiling antics. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much it, Give Peace. I'm glad the chat's working, though. Yeah, right behind us, they are unloading more cops out of the vans. Where? So they're basically just dropping them off. Little by little. They're, they're, this, is, this, is a, this is like a sneak attack uh, tactic that they use where, you know, they, they bring in all the vans of the cops slowly. And then all the cops are... It's almost like the cops are trying to go civilian. I think they don't um, remember they don't blend in very well. So we're just keeping an eye out, kind of trying to assess the numbers, and you know we're, we're trying to be as much of, of an eye and ear for all of these kids and watching their backs and everybody in the community and just you know we, we're good at this thing and keeping a good a good idea about the surroundings and watching the numbers and so far they're keeping their distance. There actually is one cop in particular. I don't know how much he realizes he actually looks like a pig. I don't know if that's how he got hired, but it's it's pretty <laughs> hilarious. I mean, he literally, literally looks just like a pig. Um, and I'm not. I, this is just honest opinion, but um, he is he is the piggly officer over there, and that's what I'm going to be referring to him as. The piggly officer. The piggly one. He's the one on the left. He's the, he's I know he's a little piggly. far. And Ustream yeah. hasn't given us a zoom option yet, but if we did have a zoom option, you could see how much that pig actually looks like a pig. Which is probably why they hired him. I think you're right. One of the things that was brought up earlier was uh, you'd think that the, that the NYPD would hire more guys that are in really good shape, you know, so that they can chase after people faster, uh, be, be more, um, you know, have more endurance when they're on patrol. Um, but that's not always the case. You get a lot of these um, very out of shape guys. Thanks, Global Ref. And uh, it's, it is kind of funny. I love how, you know, we can we can sit here and talk to you guys and you can look over the streets and they're all they're all huddled and talking about us as well. So it is quite a little a little standoff, you know. But uh, so far everything's pretty cool and peaceful. And um, the car that was providing us music has left, so it is actually more quiet now. I I dig the music. Here. I digged the music as well. It was really good. I liked it. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that app existed. Yeah. That's yeah. sick. So, yeah. I'm a, I'm a high school teacher, so if you have any material I can bring to my school. Well, right now, yeah, we ran out, cause you did, but you can take these. I mean, okay. Uh, it's important, I mean, it's important for them to be able to look out for one another. Can I get but, a uh, shot of one of those? But I'm going to, um, I'm also going to have, um, uh, we got uh, like 10,000 buttons being made, so as soon as we make them, we got little ones and big ones. And I could give you something to give to the kids and stuff like that. We usually give to the high school kids um, <laughs> small ones, but they don't let them go Is that in. That in your pocket. Room. You can find you through here, right? How's that? No, you're, you're being call. called, brother. Oi. Are you ignoring me? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> 
Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Yeah. Yeah, it's Yeah, we've been trying to come out here and we show our support. What website is it? This is uh, it's uh, ustream.tv, yeah, slash channel, slash um, I gotta say, Love Demands, that we have been asked because the uh, community uh, members are out here um, and a lot of the youth is out here, we have been asked specifically to focus a lot of uh, the shots on the cop and not re cops and not really the, uh, the community members, um, which I don't think is a problem. Um, we will be, you know, panning so you know you will see people but for the most part we're going to be focusing on these guys right there that uh, showed up because a bunch of the youth was out here across the street and uh, you know at the at the vigil right here and the candlelight vigil that they have ten minute lag Ten minute chat lag, really? That Chris, I just got that yikes ten minute lag thing just now. So I really hope that's not well, really true. If it is, then I mean, I guess I'll be getting your stuff every ten minutes from now. Uh, well, the chat is at least working. My chat really doesn't work out here. I don't know what it is. The chat just doesn't want to work when we're out here. Um, but you guys, if you're not already, follow us on Twitter. It's at J-A-K underscore N-L-A-U-R-E-N. That's at Jack underscore N Lauren. And you can tweet at us, keep it short, and it'll pop up on my screen. So if you have any questions or you want to chat with us or uh, you want you know, to say something about the audio video, if it's going bad or something like that, you can just tweet at us. But instead, we did have a great meeting down the street um, at this little local business. The lady was very nice. She let us use the space. And so, um, you know, the crowd was very diverse. Again, a lot of different ages. And um, we came. And, and, and really, that's like the beginning of the organizing, where how do we get this, com this community empowered? How do we educate the youth so that they can stand up against this and they're not just going to get... You know, not just going to take it lying You're down. welcome, Bren Boo. And also, um, there's a lot of ideas in the works, like attacking the 67 precinct head-on, um, developing Legal a class campaign, action, yeah. uh, developing a campaign against them, a uh, class action lawsuit, collecting testimonies from kids from the local schools. Um, so we can really start to build a case where lawyers can say, this is blatant profiling, this is, uh, you know, excessive use of force, abuse of power. And, and that way the community can really have something to stand behind and fight back. And uh, so that's like, that's what they're working on. And also just figuring out like whether it's speaking to the schools or having little like pop-up info sessions on the street corners so that kids can feel, okay, I'm learning something. I know, I, I know the law and I can feel better and I don't have to like, because yeah, you know how the cops are. They, they can lie to you, they can intimidate you, they can threaten you. Um, and it's, it's really hard when you're in that position. And when you don't know what your rights are, you can be completely exploited. And so it's really just trying to, to tap into that. And, and the, the kids are sweethearts. They really are. Like, every kid I've met out here is amazing. Really, really sweet. And, uh, you know, they're hurting. Everybody's grieving. But, you know, if we can, if we can like, mold that, that anger and the hurt and the pain of it and, and really channel it into, okay, let's get educated, let's, let's get organized, let's start, you know. I mean, they don't even have a community center here. Like this, they got a hundred churches on this street, though. Community center. And so the, the immediate thing I think is there's got to be a building we can liberate somewhere. There's got to be somewhere where kids can gather and, you know, talk about what's happened or talk about what else they've experienced in the past. I mean, this is not the first death, so it's, it was really good and it was a very uplifting meeting. And I think so it's like all these little things kind of in the works. So it's really, it's really good. And yeah. Oh, you're leaving. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. So we'll Yeah, yeah. We'll be making it back to the East Coast eventually. We might go out to Cali. And, you know, so we'll be down to Hi. It's getting a little bit chilly out here tonight. i got to say, we had a little bit of a warmer day today. The wind's kicking up. 
Candles are staying lit though. It's really beautiful. They've put the candles in the in the shape of a heart. And they have a little uh it looks like one of the meals from, from a halal cart. A little takeout food. A little offering. Yeah, I just realized it's a really heart. pretty. Yeah. yeah. It's so sad. Oh my god. Yeah, I remember after Trayvon Martin was killed, we uh we had these like balloon little candles and we lit them and let them go into the sky. And that was like a like an airborne visual. Please, someone dox for Kai. <laughs> Susie, oh my gosh. If, if, yeah, if that's even his real name, please, somebody dox that man. All the shit he's been talking about me and Lauren recently. We'd have to be pretty stupid as FBI agents to constantly blast the FBI. It would just be confusing. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why the lag is on the chat is so bad. The hotspot has full surface. The audio video is fine. It's just the chat is, is horrible. They probably got the surveillance van in the area. It could be screwing Lots of suits. All right, I get it. There's a huge lag. <laughs> Don't make me feel worse. And let me give you money too. See if they have the big long match like this. Alright, let me get the box too. Before we get any money earlier, but we bought these and candles and all that, we don't got no more. Okay, It took me forever to learn how to make a heart, son. You did that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it took me forever to learn how to make that. I'm like, I gotta curve around the edges. You know, not my Lots of piggies. And that just shows how deeply embedded it is, and we just don't care. Mm. Uh, there's good people in this community who are not going to let this keep going. It's, 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 they are going to get so much, so much worse. Of their situation, if they just oh, tell tell him he actually looks like a pig. I will, officer. absolutely. <laughs> I have no problem with that. You know, like they are making a huge mistake. It's funny. It's like I'm answering questions from the past in the future. And they they choose they choose to just deny them. That's what's going to lead to more. Someone should type the time, and then I'll see when that time that they type the time comes up, and then we'll see how long the chat lag is. <laughs> Good idea, honey. <laughs> That's using your noodle. So where did all the kids go? 
I know a lot of them went down the street. Might be bad. Oh, I know they have my fucking lighter. <laughs> oh, yeah, they took your lighter. <laughs> I don't know if we're getting that back. Do you want me to go grab another lighter? Uh, yeah, I want to smoke. You got, uh, my money? Our money, I mean. But wherever the money that I use. You want me to go in there? Yeah. Of money. I know, right? Did you just make a mess of all of it? Yeah. I hope not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you want me to put it in the water? Huh? No, just leave it for now. Lauren went busting today, by the way. She wasn't pulling stripper money out of my pocket, I promise. She went and sang in the subway for about an hour and a half, two hours, and made like $80, because she's a badass. Who needs a job when you have a voice like that? <clears throat> My problem is worse than your problem, so I gotta worry about my problem and you gonna have to worry about your own. But to what's been happening here, with the Kimani movement has shown that if you unify, they're saying it it kinda shake things up. So imagine us having a lot of hundred thousand people out here. You know what I mean? Believe me, it's gonna be whatever demands we put out there, they're gonna be looked at, they're gonna be addressed because, you know, they start to see the people starting to unite. I mean, unity, that's it, man. If they're too young to, to find an issue that they can galvanize around and be empowered through, have them become the uh, media. Just want to let everybody know, everybody that's just showing up, we have about a 10 minute chat lag. I don't know why. Everything else seems to be cool. So um, tweet at us. It's at J A K underscore N L A U R E N. It's at Jack, J A K underscore N L A U R E N on Twitter. Or you could just ta- type uh, hashtag JNL and you'll find us. There'll be tweets from us everywhere. Um, yeah, follow us, tweet at us. Let me know if anything's going on. If you have any questions, audio, video is cool. Oh, we got a pretty lighter. Nice. Yeah, I didn't know about that app, Susie, from 10 minutes ago. Uh, I had no idea about the Stop and Frisk app. I thought, I think it's awesome. telling these officers to go out there and today I want you to bring me one and ten, you know, one arrest and ten ticket or bring me two and twenty, you know what I'm saying, all right, we start to learn to rule tactics and everything because I, of all this, you know, movement of, of resistance that we've been having all the way from the Occupy Wall Street all the way down to, you know what I'm saying, us right now, you know, the people occupying this, you know, these flappers on there, so it, it's been helpful, you know. We, the thing is, we have a problem. Susie, when you guys see Stratus, tell her, uh, Lauren and I say hi, if we don't meet her. We don't want to make them feel, you know what I'm saying, you know, indifference. We just got to keep it real with our kids, you know. My son, I kept it real with him, you know. Whatever he learned in school, that was not going to help him become the man he was. He's the man who he is now. My son is 24 years old because of what I taught him at home. I told him, you know, saying the greatness of his ancestors, the greatness within himself, and the, and the ability for him to be able to accomplish that greatness. School don't teach you that. The curriculum is the school curriculum is not designed for that. You know, it's not designed for that. You know, no disrespect. You know, like what you teach the kids, it's something that is given to you to teach. This is not something coming out of a personal thing. You know, so if you do talking about educating youth, experience and knowledge, you can only put a little bit. Everything else has to be part of the school curriculum. So that little bit, you're saying, gets covered up and swallowed up by all the other, you're saying, information that is not complete. So these young kids grow up with incomplete information. No, we all do. They miseducate people of color just like they miseducate the white people. 
Yeah. 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 You have this whole community here, and the only ones that've been coming out here are the so-called outsiders and these young kids. Right. You know what I'm saying? And because of these young kids standing up, because it takes bravery and courage to do what these young kids did. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because they have not been domesticated like a lot of us. Have. We are unconsciously domest- domesticated. Like you know, they take a lion out of his his habitat and put him in the circuit. That's what they've done with us. And we don't even know that a lot of these, a lot of these older folks have been domesticated. These young kids, these young kids haven't been domesticated, so they are the true militants. They're still revolutionary, having that spirit. They don't even know it, you know. And you know that's what you know that's what made this the Kimani movement something that is talked all around the world. And with the help of the outsider, making sure that this doesn't die, you know what I'm saying? We've been able to spread it all around, and that's because. All these different organizations uniting together and saying, you know what, we're going to use our network and we're going to support this because this means something. You know, so you know, it ties all together. It came out because I'm a high school teacher. I'm also tied up with different teacher groups like this is called New York uh, Collective of Radical Educators. Right now, they're actually lost. One of the things that teachers, progressive teachers, are concerned about is things like this. Um, so I just came to check it out and see what's going on. What are some of the groups I could get in touch with? Well, I mean, for me, you'll get in touch with many other teacher groups that we work with, with any other, you know what I'm saying, working groups, the same thing with, you know, with everything. I mean, we connect with everything, you know, and also through the help of all, you know, the Occupy Wall Street brothers and sisters that, you know, we connected with, we spread everything around. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things going on, man. You know, it's out there, we just got to get involved. We don't need to invent the wheel. We need to get, you know, involved with already exists so we can make it grow. And that's what we need to do. <clears throat> well, I mean, it's good, man. I'm glad, you know, teachers are poor, man. Because y'all in the school teaching these kids, you know? And as long as y'all understand and realize that y'all teaching them something that is not really going to benefit them in the future other than having a paper a certificate to be able to go into the work field. Because that's what it shows. It shows like, you know, okay, he has a certificate, he has a degree. That's good. That means this one here is easy to control. This one here has been domesticated. This one here, right, it's going to be a good one. We're going to hire him. You know what I'm saying? Because he had all these years of schooling, so we definitely took over his mind. You know? That's why all these dropouts and stuff like that, it's like they can't control them, so what they do? You know, they say, you know what, we're going to start locking them up. But those are the ones they scare. The ones that's in prison are the ones that they scare. But those are the ones that say, you know, F the school system, right? F, you know, you know, F, you know the system that we're forced to live under. And, you know, I'm going to just live my life the way I'm supposed to live, you know? Free. Free within myself and free for me to do what things that I want to do for myself. You know, and that's why there's like I said, man, the prison system close to four million people, man. You know, three points like three point five million and it's still rising. The woman population growing faster than the male population. There's something wrong, you know. Schools when you go into school it's like going inside a prison. You know, I mean there's something wrong, you know. And that's something teachers that we've been talking to teachers that they need to speak about too. You know? They 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 put this false image of terrorism and safety. We're doing this because we want to keep y'all safe. Well, how we safe? If y'all the ones that just creating a chaos, you know? If y'all the ones that are <coughs> around harassing people, y'all the ones going around the humanizing. Hi everyone. Um for those of you just coming in, I'll give you guys some updates. We're out here on 55th and Church Avenue for the uh, Kamani Gray Vigil. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a march or not tonight. Um, a lot of the community members are out here. A lot of the youth, um, I've been asked to, for the most part, keep the coverage on the cops and uh, people that are willing to be filmed. 
but uh, lot, the youth are not going to be in a lot of the shots for the most part. I'll do some panning, um, just want to let you know. So I'll do a good job of informing you guys what's going on. Right now there's a lot of us here on the corner of 55th and Church Avenue just talking and uh, discussing things. The other militaries in the world go to the NYPD to learn their training. The NYPD has police departments all over the world. It's like they have military bases. This is insanity. Why is a, is a, is a city police department getting, getting departments all over the world? They, they, they're gonna it's be never been that drones. bad before, Fuzz it. They're going to be flying drones over the city soon. They've got drones in the, in the water already. They've got these submarine drones that people don't even know about. NYPD has special military units. They're, they're, they're like Talking about the guys. NYPD they pigs. Their only job is it's called the Hercules team, by the way. Hercules team. Ooh, That's yeah. what I was looking for. The Hercules team. And they literally, their job is to stand there with a giant assault rifle and scare the living daylight out of anybody. That, that, That's out of their mouth. Their job is to scare people. So you're talking about courtesy, professionalism, respect. Scare all tactics. People say, Why do you need to scare people? Aren't people scared enough? You shot a kid dead. You shot, you shot an, uh, another girl dead nine months ago. You, Trayvon Martin got shot. You know, the, 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 the amount of kids that have been killed just in the last year. 21 in 2012. Craziness. It's craziness. Right now, they, they just it's found fashion, a video. Man. They it's found fashion. a video. You think that putting more cameras up is going to make anybody feel better? Big Brother don't make me feel safe. Hell no. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, brother. I just reach on my head. Yeah, now, nah, they just have a video now that actually show what happened to these two young kids that got hit and on point by the bike. By the, you know, they're, they're driving the dirt bike, it shows the police actually ramming them and running them over. It is crazy. And they lied and said that it wasn't the, that these young men ran into the police car. And now this video surfaced out of nowhere. All right? It's the same thing that's probably going to happen here. Somebody's going to get the courage to say, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck that. I'm putting yeah. this shit out. You know what I'm saying? Because right now they might be scared, like, oh my God, I got something that could get me killed. And, 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 and. But eventually, like this person did, you know what? Like, Four months after the incident, or something. Anybody video got the time? Out. So you know, that Anybody tells us the time? Why, you know, it tells us that people are very afraid. Thank you, man. People don't get involved in this community because they're like, damn, I gotta live here. These police officers know what I look like, and if I get involved, they're gonna come fuck with me every day. Okay. And that's sad. So, so we need to let them know, you know, you know that they got communities. It's getting time there, popping up on the screen that says 7.35 right now. And that's what we've been trying to do. And, uh, it's 8.45. We've been going against politicians. Uh, is it 7.45? We're going politicians. against the communists. Against yeah, the communists. No, I mean, against the um, RCP. The RCP. Yeah, all right, so we got about a 10-minute lag on the chat. Other groups that they brought here, yo, we've been going against a lot and we was able to... Yep, about a 10 minute lag, them which them is horrible. Just, so anything that you have to say, say it 10 minutes in advance and this will work the, out. The, the problem RCP was that they was the and, outside and, 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 of... They, but they were acting like, like you know? a missionary group, like coming in and trying to shove revolution down all the kids. And recruit. All no. yeah. Bad taste. No, I told them, I told them, listen, you can speak about, you know what I'm saying, you can say one time, it's cool. You know, every two seconds, every, every sentence. Every time, yep. they wanted to come in and say it. But they're also Thanks. being they were they were trying to block all the cameras with their with their signs. Yeah. At one point we were trying to film what was happening with a, a confrontation with the cops and, and the the one guy's got the, the banner and the flag right in the way and we're like, You need to put that down. We're trying to protect people here. We're trying to, to document what's happening and you have gotten plenty of airtime. With your message, it's time to step back. They and really show some was respect. trying to say that they put this together. They crazy. This been put together like. No, they they did like, that at the arm. Like the March 9 when the incident happened, there we first came out here. This been put together by the people. Yeah. There's a people movement. This is everybody. This we can respect down. everybody's views. I'm not out here preaching Occupy. I'm not out here preaching any of that. I'm here first and foremost the community. And that's, they missed a big opportunity to actually gain some respect in the community because they were so aggressive with the propaganda. They could have just taken a moment back and said, what are this? And what selling their DVDs. Really oh my God, right I want to lose it. Because so they're not giving nothing to the family. No. You. If you're going to sell something and then give the family something, I don't yeah. respect that. You know, go ahead, do it. <laughs> you know, that's Thing. If you're gonna, if you want, if you want to gain members and you want to, you know, they do that every, listen, they did that in the, you can do that. They did that in the Ramali You can't do it when kids are. They did that in the Ramali Quiva. They did that in the Mahan. Talking about RCP right now. They did that in every damn. Because of that. They did that in every every rally and march that I organized. You know what I'm saying? For these. 
I would have lost. Mothers and fathers, they lost their kids for the yeah. child. They did that I, to I, every I, one of them. Once it got to a point leave. where a lot of people was giving attention, you know, they come the in. Like, I mean, not only them, there's like a lot of them, but you know, right. they are really, they really dogmatic about their pros. They just don't care. the same thing to us. Yeah. Yeah. So I brought back in the age. You know, that you ever heard exactly of when we went from the Diego movement that was winning people's to the justice movement to losing. Yeah, yeah. We worked this man on the right is an educator, by the way. But they have the glasses. The times that we came out here with the rally, they came out here and uh, he's a teacher. Uh, one of the local schools, I believe. Yeah. Or just one of the schools. Yeah. I don't know which one. They are working on politics with Scientology. is working on the um, The thing I've noticed about their people, because I've known a whole bunch of their people, is that all of them came from not strong religious backgrounds, backgrounds of the religion. Well, yeah, 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 listen, the only thing I can tell you is Google my name. And everything that's going to come up yeah. in that first yeah. whole thing is going to be oh, about... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Thank you. One of them on Sunday was, you know, one of the kids trying to give me a flyer. And I just said, listen, you know, you know, you know, we are work with the mouth you know, as well. Yeah, yeah, but their approach, our approach is a lot more different. You, even engage you know what I'm saying? And we can get a response with our approach. Like like and to be honest, you know, their approach is just a film. Their approach is more of, you know, of, you know, just, yeah, just film and try to avoid any contact with them. Our approach is getting get police attention away from what they're doing, yeah. you know what I'm saying, to the point here. that we distracted them and okay. they're busy on us, and by the time they get, get to the chance. individual, they don't even want to deal with him because they're so pissed off they just want to You know what I'm saying? And it's been working, and we've been locking them down. And that's why every police station knows us. Talking about cop watching. Every courtroom, court office and stop, stop and had encounters with us. Okay. You know, and we document everything. Yeah. And everything we done did, we document. So, like I said, Google my name, and you're going to see everything. You're going to be like, wow. I'm always looking to see if I can bring somebody to the school to talk to the students. So, I don't know. They published a few more than somebody else. Well, we, we do do a lot of work with um, the parents on coordinators in schools. They are uh, after coming. We talk to parents and we talk to uh, also to you know to the kids. But, um, I'll put a little panel together for them and stuff like that about stop and flip. We bring you know stop and flip buttons, stop and flip stuff, information about you know what to do in the town. The same, similar like the like the people's justice or the Malcolm X grassroots, but we just you know. We just let kids know that. Um, yeah, but in work just, on that, no. if you see something, don't just go buy it, buy it, and, and don't and don't even document it. I mean, you can stand across the street and document, you know, put you know the card number down on the paper, you scan it with the video, or write it down. You know? The Malcolm X Rats would them, they would recommend that you, you see something and you buy yourself, you walk. Okay. That's the thing about our place. There's no need for us to keep walking when we see something. I mean, then while we out there trying to teach people that they see police brutalizing somebody or assaulting somebody, then we should you know, Since we're alone, let's not get involved. Or stand there and just watch and try to like put it might. Is she? Nah, we won't make contact. But we don't advise that for the kids. I think it's better for us. I'm sure I did. Happens, you know, 
you need to be held accountable yeah, exactly. for that. So, you know, people need to know what we're really uh, out here for, you know? We're out here because this child, child yeah. murders, you know? I'm about, like, the child, you know? I went to the wake on funeral, and I literally, like, I thought I was such a hardcore person, and I broke down into, like, a poodle. <laughs> I broke down in tears because of... Um, I forget how much you know your history. I forget how much you know your history. Well, yeah, that hits me such a totally life different life aspect life because, life because life I have a life son. Life and life and life that, life and life we shouldn't be burying our children to their notes, to this nonsense. They know the law. They took an oath to protect this earth. They took kill. They took kill. So I come out here every night because I believe that this has to stop. You know, what is it going to take to stop? It's going to ask people. You know, these these cops, they do this, and they get suspended, they get death duty, um, or nothing. Or nothing. They get paid vacation. If I kill somebody, I get 20 to 20 to life, yep. You understand me? It, it should be no justification for murder, you know? All these calls, it's a lot to take someone's life. You know, you know? I don't question the call, but I question the devil. The devil is so powerful, you know? On February 8th, I was beat up by the police. I remember saying to call morning here from New York Times about a month before the election. Oh, my knees twisted, my back is twisted. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. And it's so crazy because I've been an activist before this. And the mental damage they do to people, I came home the same day, right? And I'm just sitting on the train so twisted. I'm just like really traumatized. Like, damn. All these years I've been out here being an activist and standing up against police brutality, and it did this and it took something away from me. I sit in my house for a whole day, just like on a zombie mode, sitting on how to be all the money he had. It's something that's like, you know, you need to get up. You need to say something. You need to follow suit. You need to stand up for yourself because this time I didn't provoke them. You know, usually I'm a very agitated and I'm provoking the police. But this time, you know, I didn't provoke the situation. Because that night I had my kids, I had to get home. I believe they did. I believe they did because, you know, I really went head to toe cursing out Ray Kelly. Yeah. He's more concerned and, um, about banning It's like crazy stuff that happens to me. I've been getting pulled over, getting tickets. I've been, you know, like, I just came here, my tire was stabbed. So I don't put it past in my PD. Absolutely not. I can't do anything cruel because they're not down, here yeah. for us. Yep. No, they're not here to serve and protect the people. Absolutely not. I who I was. And I'm like, what is and I pray to God that I I'm thankful to God that I didn't lose my life that day. Because if I didn't have the crowd around me, they would Yes, Fuzzit, I did see the 735 uh, type when it was 745, and now it's probably 755. And uh, that, it's 745 check. Do you see the 735 chat uh, message just came up? <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys got to preemptively say something 10 minutes in advance, and I'll get it right on time. Um, so for those of you who are just showing up, just coming in, uh, we're on 55th and Church Avenue out here in Flat East Flatbush in Brooklyn um, for the Kamani Gray Vigil Brooklyn protest. A lot of community members out here tonight. A lot of the youth is out here. Uh, we've been asked to keep the camera off of them for the most part and strictly film the cops and uh, people who are willing to be filmed. Um, so that's what we've been doing. So that's why I uh, haven't really been filming much of the community members, uh, much of the youth. Um, just just want everyone to be aware of what's going on here right now. We're just hanging out in the corner of 55th and Church uh, at the vigil and uh, a lot of discussion going on about uh, the NYPD, of course, uh, what to do next. Yesterday, Lauren and I went to a meeting um, where the weird uh, discussion was being thrown about about launching a legal campaign against the 67th Precinct um, and putting together a legal team and starting to gather testimonies from the youth around the area and uh, within the schools um, about the NYPD specifically at the 67th Precinct. Um, there's also been a demand thrown out uh, to call, call for community policing of the police, uh, which means can community control of the police means that the community does the hiring and the firing that has been done in other communities around the country and uh, it's very possible that it can be done here and uh, that is one of the demands that the community is making. This, one gotta this be is the vigil here. That looks great. That looks really fantastic. K for Kiki. That's a heart and then two K's for Kiki. Yeah, right? Yeah, shout out to my K.
That looks fantastic. Originated that week. The royalist. Maybe you see one. Just adding coming out the way you got this one. Down on the right side of the aisle. You know? Yeah, make it look beautiful. Everybody else sat on the left side of the aisle. And they have one guard yeah. sitting on the aisle. You see this? Yeah. You know what is weird? I've been seeing a lot of the guards. Yeah, it's not just like you have a release of a movie version of the Yeah, yeah. And then you have You're also seeing a lot of the same conversation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping. Jose, I wasn't saying such a you. Yeah. Oh, fucking lady. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I was just waiting on the one there. Yeah. I'm waiting for the big for the big for the big for the big the big for the the Check out it. And have everyone to really come in. And um, I don't know what's gonna. It's gonna. It's about two money. I think some people Charles Berry coming to talk. And I think. Um, I don't know who to give about. Um, uh, but the family is coming though. Cause it's one of them. One of them is the one that put me on. So I didn't have no idea about it. So we need to support it. Hi, mommy. You bring your daughter. I first gotta find out who they are. Sorry. Find out over there what who's behind it. That, okay, everything you, you just, see you and read is always something. Yeah, we can't make it something. No, 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 no. Yeah. We, we, we could be a cancer. We could be a cancer. No, no, you got it. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So the big hit with Kevin Bryant is the show on the show. All right, all he did was write one good show. Yeah. And the regular thing like the show. We all learned. Exactly, Rice. I love this. We're, this is the, the vigil for Kinky. All right, all. I'm gonna archive real quick. Um, <laughs> Jose, I just get a shot real quick. Thank you. No, it's all right. Um, I'm gonna archive real quick, all, and then uh, we'll be right back. So about 30 seconds. Yeah, she coming around. Oh, not Camille from the Camille Center. No, Camille, I think she's not on the new one. Okay. And instead of signing our rights away.